What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jay is here, and I'm here with a very special guest, my boy Avatar Yaya. So today we are talking about the DLC characters that are rumored and or maybe possibly going to be in the game for Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, make sure to go check out his version of the video, so that way you guys can get the full list. But without further ado, let's jump into it. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Who we putting in our DLC packs, bro, for for Dragon Ball Fighters? Who you got, man? All right, all right, all right. So, so we gotta do this with a little bit of slow mo. <laughs> So, I'd have to say, out of all the characters I would love to have in the Dragon Ball Fighters, man, I mean, you know, it's all cool that, you know, the game getting ready to come out with hella DLC, but in the, in the most requested from me, I would have to say, in, the, in these DLC packs, I would love to see the first character, I'm gonna have to give it, boy, to the Green Menace himself, my boy, PyCon, okay? A lot of people be shading my man, PyCon, but you know what? I'd have to say that PyCon puts it down. This man, during that filler tournament, I have to say, he was giving it to Goku. He was giving him the work, man. The only thing I wanna see more than PyCon is the thing that killed PyCon, or the person, or however he died. Maybe he choked on a sandwich, that sandwich which needs to be in the game okay that's all i'm saying all right yeah it, i'm for real i'm for real okay so all i'm gonna say all <laughs> i'm gonna say is pitcon pycon he deserves his own emoji bro he all deserves right. his own anime <laughs> he showed dude he, he he is the the hood the making bro I'm he's the, he was one of the rawest characters in, like we've seen in dragon ball at like in a while and that was like towards the end of z and him showing up in uh in uh, uh what was it uh reborn the reborn movie bro oh. this man with the insults when janemba decided to set up jelly beans my bro was throwing the ultimate roast okay like i don't like jelly beans bro he was just putting in the work so I, obviously <laughs> that has to be one of his ultimates in the game you know right next to the hyper tornado you know just just shooting insults at people so i would love to see that the next person on my list is the og the omega the absolute most badass saiyan to ever grace any planet whatsoever is my boy bardock okay there's no the way god. the god god <laughs> okay <laughs> there is no way that you can have a dragon ball z game without my boy bardock it is impossible you can't be done cannot do it it's it just it just wouldn't be right okay not only do I want Bardock, but I mean, we could get a skin, you know, a Time Breaker Bardock. We could get uh, his transformation or maybe even his ultimate attack could be, I don't know, maybe he turned Super Saiyan or something. I would love to see the Saiyan Spirit Fist, bro. That would, oh man, he would have the dopest cutscenes, the dopest intros. Like, what was it called? The Final Spirit? It was something like that. Exactly. The Spirit it Cannon. Sounded wrong. The Revenger of something. Exactly. Exactly. Man, that last, that final just like toss like that shit is gonna be dope like explosions all over the place that's that's what it is okay this man is the goat all right so uh going into my third choice which i was kind of reluctant to put him in here because i wanted to pick a couple of different other characters before him but i felt like you know what he needed to go in the list he absolutely had to i'm gonna go with my boy the dick devil demon god himself 
Merged uh, uh. Zamasu, okay? Merged Zamasu has that has that just finesse, that, that class. Bro, he takes the utmost, like, classiest of class from, from Goku Black, but merges it with, bitch, I'm a god! I am a god, okay? He is given, it, did you see this man in Xenoverse? One of his attacks was literally boy. He was roasting right. people, okay? I would love to see this put in Dragon Ball Fighters. His ultimate attack, he has like a transformation. He turns into that one good masturbation arm, bro, and just wrecks your shit, okay? Like, he is just ready to come through and blast it. I would love to see his cutscenes, make it a transformation, you know? He just, the game is missing his upper level upper echelon level of class and finesse my boy so well, he has he's a god too bro, bro. You he's a god, god. <laughs> he got them cloud coins exactly yeah, cloud coins. this man is given the eternal cloud coins okay i'm uh, telling but, you but, with but, the but, but let me say this about merge amasu um merge amasu i feel like he deserves he needs to be one of those characters that can do almost everything and he can actually do everything you know he has a strong fist it could be like an armored move as much as people with dislike that don't like armor like abilities you know he's probably will have that i really think he will fit dragon ball fighters oh yeah he should uh, actually come to think of it like when he uses his ultimate like that's when he transforms and his like kind of like how 16 has that grab but like his is more of a fist that that's an actual grab hopefully the hitbox isn't too fucking big and that's when his like ultimate actually starts but it has a an armor on it so you have to hit him twice in order to get him to, to cancel like the animation for him to even start up like yeah. for his ultimate and then you still lose meter so that'll be that'll be nice I, I i'd love to see that so and then uh sticking with uh dragon ball super i'm gonna go with my well, boy he the Z too, people. Technically, yeah, I mean, but he's really a super character, so, you know. It, it does where he shines, okay? I mean, I guess you could call him a movie character, too. Shit, why not? You know, fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with my main man, Beerus. Now, if there was any other character who I would absolutely, like, put it, like, my number one character, it would be Beerus, and obviously my number one character who I decided to pick. But I think Beerus is a great fourth pick, because, like, on the tier, like, he's really important towards the pivotal moments of even leading up to Dragon Ball Super. Like, we wouldn't have Dragon Ball Super without Beerus as a catalyst. And, I mean, I was gonna pick Whis, but, you know, Whis would just body everybody. So, that's, like, that's like unfair. That's like putting Vados in the game, and she just <laughs> eradicates everybody with the thick, bro. It's just not happening. So, I had to have Beerus in there, and I think his ultimate attack, the Sphere of Destruction, would be really good. I would love to see, like, his... I feel like his lower moves, like his crouching kicks and stuff like that, like would be his combo points because I saw Beerus do a lot of that in the movie. Like a lot of that stuff is like one handed, the finger flick. That would be something that would bounce you off the wall. Wow. Now that well, I think about it, that's a character. Moving. Exactly. Yeah. That's a build. That's a character build, bro. That's a real thing. So he could combo into his finger flick, which bounces you off the wall, and you can just dash right into him. Like, dude, it he is ready for the game. Like his character is built for Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. I think I think Beerus will be the one of the strongest people. Oh, this absolutely. Been announced day one. Day one, baby. Watch, watch this man be a pre-order bonus. I'm going to be mad. <laughs> All the dope characters. Goku Black, he's going to be a pre-order bonus. Zamasu, he's going to be a pre-order bonus. Beerus, you want all the dope characters? Nah, nah, got a pre-order, fam. Got a pre-order. So. Um, but then I got to throw some love. I know everybody had, like, a lot of people really don't like this, but I'm, I, I need to show some love for my next two picks. Okay, number five on my list, I'm going to have my boy, Omega Shenron. Literally the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end of the Ooh. Dragon Balls. Like, bro. And just to, just to give you some some aspect as to what his character play is like, you know, he's very much like Bu from the Budokai series, you know. He uses his his uh uh Dragon Thunder, you know, as as his zoning move, which obviously you can dodge, you know, using your dash attacks. He's not very melee oriented, but he's more of a zoning character because he can shoot the needles out of his fingers. Okay, that's something that's really gr dope. And maybe his character doesn't start off as Omega. Maybe he starts off as like Sen Shenron and then works his like like he eats dragon balls like when he's doing his ultimate attack or for his transformation and then he turns into omega kind of like when frieza turns golden think of it that way so 
Bro, exactly. Y'all can hate on GT or whatever, bro. But he got the right now, If you played them old Dragon Ball games, you know how much he -E was. Yeah. This man had the Renegon. He was a Zatch Bell character. Wait, wait, he hold up. <laughs> hold up, you got to you got to slow down, bro. That's <laughs> that doing too much right there. <laughs> You're doing the most. You're doing the most, yeah, man. Y'all yeah. know, y'all know how good Omega Shenron is. Dude, like, he think. he is the epitome of like, okay, if there was one character that had to represent GT aside from the Super Saiyan fours, it would have to be Omega Shenron, man. Like he yeah. he needs some love. He absolutely needs some love. So, um, and then the next character, just to keep it within the GT theme, I'm gonna go with Super Seventeen. Now, I wanted to give it to Baby Vegeta, but I felt like there was already two Vegetas in the game, we didn't need a third one. So, fuck it, give it to Super 17. Regular Android 17 doesn't have his own character slot, bro. Like, that is that is the ultimate shade, but Android 16 does. Yeah, perfect opportunity, let's get Super 17. You know, the, the fucking finger guns would be ridiculous, okay? He just clamps his hands off, he said, listen, let me bring the heat, okay? <laughs> and, and he just goes ham, bro. Like, I would, I would. Go exactly, exactly, I'm saying. So, he needs to represent GT as a whole, and I would love to see his fighting style. Like, he'll be one of the bigger characters. Obviously, Omega Shenron would be more of a tanky type character. You know, he takes a lot more hits. He would be kind of a, a little bit of a grappler, almost like Android 16. But 17 would be more of a kind of a rushdown. I wanted him to be more of almost like Cell, almost like how Cell plays, where he kind of picks off of both. Like he could can be considered a zoning character, but he can also dive in at a moment's notice and has hella hooks, hella setups. So I think Ooh. I think 17 would be dope, man. So. And then uh, for my seventh pick, since we have eight packs to choose from, since we have eight character slots as DLC, I'm gonna give it a throwback because a lot of people weren't really considering how this game works exactly. Like there's a lot of gimmicks and a lot of mechanics that go into this. I'm gonna go with my boy Super Boo, okay? And not just regular Super Boo, just like, you know, Nilly, Milly Nilly, whatever. He's just regular, like, Schmegular Super Boo, where he just has, like, Super the Vanilla Boo. Super Boo. You know, like, he has the veins popping off of him every now and then. But the thing about this Super Boo is that he has two ultimate attacks, okay? He has a Super and he has an ultimate. One, he he actually just eats a random piece of chocolate. His antenna comes and he he eats a piece of chocolate that he's holding on to, and boom, gets the Go Tanks vest. Okay, into a Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Now I know that's a little strange. It's like, how would that work, Jay? Don't worry, it works for Goku's ultimate when he turns Super Saiyan three. I think the least we can do is have Super Boo eat a piece of chocolate and turn into Go Tanks. Now the other thing is we can also use this for a transformation, or it can be his ultimate attack is he pops a different piece of chocolate and then gets the Goku Gi. Like, he, he, he it's Gohan absorbed uh, Super Boo. And then he goes into the Super Kamehameha, bro. There, This needs to be something that's in the game. It's a little bit more on the cinematic side, so it can be worked in there. If Goku can turn Super Saiyan 3 mid, like, ultimate, come on now. Come on. Yeah, come I, I on. I feel like a good way to also implement that for people like, well, it would make sense that way or this way. Well, I got y'all. I got y'all with the best idea. What they could do is also make moves catered to the uh, other versions of Super Boo, right? So, like, say if he does, like, I don't know, a normal attack or something like that, or, like, a do a grab, he'll do, he, like, the best appears, you know how he gets all super fast, he gets the best. He does, like, a galactic donut grab or something. Or oh, my does, God, like, that would be dope. Yeah. You know, like, it could just be mixed up. It doesn't have to just be, but you play as base vanilla Super Boo. That way, everybody's happy. Everybody gets to touch Boo to the most litty kind of Boo. Exactly. And then, you know, when he's blocking, he turns into Piccolo. So, <laughs> because why the fuck not? And then last on my list for the final DLC character, I'm gonna have to go with the, the I'm gonna have to go with Ben Ten's own Gray Matter, okay, bro? He's like four arms mixed with Gray Matter, bro. My boy Jiren is about to come through, okay? It is hype right now for all the Gray Matter niggas out there, for all the extraterrestrials. Jiren is holding it down for you guys. Like, this man is basically, it's all might. 
you gotta have All Might in the game. One Punch Man, literally everything. The man can do everything, okay? He's got telepathy, he's got telekinesis, he's got like, you know, the, the one punch fist that just shoots out air, air bullets at you. Bro, this man's this grab man game Jiren. is too strong, you know? This man Jaren too strong. You look up at the moon and your health bar go to 50%. That's it, it's over, you can forget it. You thought <laughs> fighting Jaren was finna be a breeze. Nope, <laughs> you, you got the game all hella twisted, big fella. You need to take your ass back to the grass and train with King Kai. You need to head the hell out of here. You was not not ready for this big fella i'm telling you so anyway that's gonna be my my eight character dlc list i mean there were honorable mentions i can go on and on but just to just to get on them really quick really fast i wanted to put hit in the game hit obviously you know looking like a dickhead uh hit has to be in the game i mean that would be really dope he didn't make my list because you know, I, I felt like there were more important people that I wanted to put on there. Um, next, obviously, you know, I mentioned Zamasu. We can get Vegito Blue. I didn't want to originally put him on the list because Fusion, I feel like, would be a very strange thing to have in that game. Maybe not, like, too far off, but I didn't want it to exactly be like, okay, well, we got Vegito. Can we get Gogeta? Can we get this character? Can we get that character? Because we have to keep things fundamental within the realm of possibility that it's, like, basic as fuck, you know, like, core value value characters and then uh obviously i have to have a movie character i gotta have my boy tapion in there you know he has Ooh, to represent yeah. yep mr matt fuck it mask off bro okay <laughs> he's haunted by 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 this just giant demon thing bro i mean that could be part of his move set who knows like harutagon comes in as his ultimate and just shoots flames out of his asshole for all i care all right and then last on my honorable mentions i gotta give it to the country badass himself mr android 13 because the dude just represents like a whole different type of villain like he's the americanized version of wh when japanese people put, edit like when they create american characters for anime this is that type of character and the only thing he's short of is blonde hair blue eyes so i gotta give it to my boy android 13 hey i love android 13 yeah android he, 13 he's dope i don't dad. i don't have no jokes for that one though <laughs> <laughs> I just said he was a dad joke. I hope that was good enough for y'all. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>